today's Suffolk vlog, we are going to explore Framlingham Castle. Believe it or not, this is the real castle on the hill which inspired Ed Sheeran's hit song. Welcome to Framlingham. Framlingham Castle is maintained by English Heritage. Due to Covid, you currently have to pre-book a time slot with your ticket. Tickets for non-English Heritage members are £11.30. Members go free, but still have to book an advanced time slot online. Framlingham Castle was a Norman castle, built in 1148, however it was destroyed and rebuilt not long after. Later it was owned by the Dukes of Norfolk, before passing to the hands of Mary Tudor, the eldest daughter of Henry VIII back in the mid-1500s. It was from the castle that she learned she was to become England's first ruling queen following the surrender of the Duke of Northumberland. In terms of style, it was an unusual castle in that it had no central keep, instead having 13 towers around the outer wall. Today you can clearly see where the Tudor additions, such as huge fireplaces with ornate brickwork chimneys have been added, as well as a large house which now serves as the exhibition hall and the cafe. The exhibition hall wasn't open to view because of Covid restrictions, however we got a sneaky glimpse of it on the way up to the wall walk thanks to the one-way system that was in place. So this is the site of uh, Ed Sheeran's famous castle on the hill, welcome to Framlingham. Uh, we are in fact on a hill uh, walking around the walls because that's kind of all that's open right now, but we will go walk around the moat later as well. We walked around the wall at a leisurely pace, stopping to read the various information signs. The castle has such a varied history, which was really interesting to discover thanks to all these signs. Entrance to the wall walk is currently staggered to ensure that groups of people remain socially distant from one another. We still had plenty of time, however, to admire the features of the castle, like these fun twisted Tudor style chimneys or imagining defending the walls through the tiny arrow slits against an invading army. And lots of big cool Tudor chimneys over here. One of the access bridges to the castle has since crumbled away. However, the pillars supporting it remain, enabling visitors to visualise the pleasant stroll into the vast surrounding grounds that the castle's inhabitants would have enjoyed for both hunting and leisure. Look, it's a fake white tree of Gondor. I was pleased to see that English Heritage have definitely taken good care to ensure Covid secure visiting. Having explored inside the castle grounds, it was time for a wander outside. Now back to that singer. The walls of Framlingham Castle actually feature in the music video for Sheeran's hit song. The song appears to have given a big boost to visitor numbers, which were apparently increased by around 15% the year after the single came out back in 2017. Sheeran himself describes the certified banger as his love song to Suffolk, and I certainly do associate this strongly with home, as I'm sure many others who grew up in Suffolk do. The video really does remind me of my own teenage years. I personally think that it's his best song, but that's probably because of the emotional connection. But I was really glad to have an excuse to come and visit the castle that I think about when I hear that song once again, since I hadn't been to it since I was a child. The castle may no longer be home to nobility, but some white doves seem to have taken up residence in the masonry these days. To end our visit, we stopped for a takeaway coffee within the walls. Whether you're a history fan, an Ed Sheeran fan, or just enjoy getting out and exploring cool old buildings, you should definitely add Framlingham Castle to your list of things to do in Suffolk. <laughs> <laughs>